I mean, there's been a lot of talk recently about the rent prices here, but the rent prices in Boston seem especially high. I mean, getting comparable with rent prices that we see on the West Coast in San Francisco and Los Angeles. Um, so how how are the rent prices in Boston impacting the market here in southern New England? So I think you hit it on the head. Boston has one of the highest rent prices in the country. So folks are coming down to Providence and saying, wow, these are great. And what that's doing is it's driving up the demand even higher than it already is. So it's really squeezing what's already a squeeze market. Gotcha. Um, in, in addition to, to Boston, what else is impacting prices? I mean, I, I have to imagine that the, the cost of homes has to do a lot to do with it, right? Yeah, cost of homes and also our vacancy rate in Rhode Island is less than 3%. I believe it's like 2.7%. And a healthy vacancy rate for any state is about 7 to 8%. So it's just that. It's just so many people. There's such a demand to live in Rhode Island that people are willing to pay. Uh, 2000 we just rented a two-bedroom apartment for in Winsocket, right? I started 10 years ago. People were paying 500 for two-bedroom apartments in Winsocket. So I don't know where it's going to end, but I feel like it's about to cool off because how much money do people really have, you know? Yeah, it, it's got to be hard for a lot of folks to to find a place at this point. So how, if, if for someone who's in the market for a rental right now, how do you find a deal? You move in with roommates. You get a boyfriend or a girlfriend. You go back to your parents' house. You, you know, it's just, you got to get creative. It's not traditional, oh, I'm going to rent a one bedroom on the east side by myself. You can, but then you're house poor. So we find people are kind of moving in and downsizing too, um, just to save money and, and really to afford. Are landlords at all, I mean, are they willing to negotiate or are there certain things, you know, are they able to say, hey, I'll cover utilities? Or is this one of those markets where if you need a rental, you say here. <laughs> yes, it this is. is what it is. We're seeing sometimes a bid war, not too often, not like the home sales market. But folks, when they see the price, they know that that is the price. There's no wiggle room. There is not. Are there certain cities and towns in the area that you might be able to get a cheaper deal? I know you mentioned Woonsocket, 2000 for a two bedroom. Are there certain cities and towns that you're now advising folks to look in? Yeah, you hit it on the head. So Woonsocket, West Warwick, East Providence, Pawtucket, places that are not Providence, you're going to find are a little bit cheaper and affordable, but they're still up there because they're suburban or rural, which you can't get that in Providence. So it's kind of like no matter where you go, you're going to see inflated prices. But Winsocket, probably, I would say in the whole state, has probably got the most affordable rates in West Forward. What's the expectation as we head further into 2023 in, in the following year? Are we expecting rent prices to kind of stabilize at these high levels? Yeah, I think so. Now that COVID's over, that the free money has ended and uh, people are back to work, I don't think that these prices can keep climbing. And the housing market seems to be cooling as well. So I feel that we approach the plateau. Perfect. Greg, thank you so much. Is there anything else about the market right now that you feel like is worth mentioning that I didn't ask you? I think folks should consider taking care of existing tenants and not jacking up their rent prices. There's a lot of landlords that are taking this opportunity to take advantage of people. And yes, you don't have to make money, but you have to be compassionate and empathetic to folks. And especially those that are older, maybe on fixed income, really be considerate and, and try not to make these people homeless if possible. That, that breaks my heart. I see that a lot. Hi, everyone. It's Patrice Wood from NBC10. Thanks for checking out the NBC10 WJAR YouTube channel. Click the links on your screen for more stories from across Southern New England. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button below to get notified anytime we post an update on YouTube. As always, thank you for turning to 10.